What's going on, Expect the Family? Welcome back to the channel. Made it to the gym 22 weeks out, y'all. We grind. I am mixing up the pre workout right now. I wanted to come in here and show y'all what I have. Just grabbed this. So I got Red Con. All right, we're going Red Con today. Red Con pre workout, total pre workout. 50% off, so it caught my eye. This right here is a real good pre workout, man. We got some green tea, we got the caffeine, juniper, a lot of great ingredients inside of here. When you are getting you a pre-workout, make sure you're focusing on what's actually inside. Redcon, that's what's selling at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, I even think. They sell them in more commercial areas, GNC, uh, so you can grab you some without having to shop online, right? And always at a good price. So right here, pre-workout, I'm about to mix it up. This is a great flavor pre-workout, pretty good. They said grape and it's giving great. I got a shoulder day today, so I'm gonna run you guys through a typical shoulder day with me. I do rear delts first all the time. I put a little more emphasis right here on the right rear delt, simply because I do feel it's lagging. When I hit my side pose, my side chest pose, I noticed the development in the shoulder here is very different than the shoulder here. So my left is pretty legit. Not sure why or how that happened, but over time, that's just what came from my physique. So I put a little more emphasis on the right side when I'm training shoulders. The reason why I train rear delts first in my shoulder workouts is simply because they need more work. Normally when we pose from the back, talk about competitors, men's physique, the bodybuilding it, classic, when you pose from the back, the judges can see an uh, underdeveloped rear delt, right? Because normally we just don't focus on it, I guess. So for me, I know that's an issue, so I'll go ahead and attack it first. Do like two exercises. I'll show you another machine that I'm gonna use for rear delts that's super good, super legit here at this gym that I train at. And so I just like to knock them out first, man. Just like, to me, it's like calves, right? If you train, if you push your calves all the way to the end of the workout, nine times out of 10, You'll probably skip them over if you get too fatigued or you just say, I don't really care too much about the cast. Let me keep, let me go home. You know what I mean? So if you prioritize the smaller muscle groups first, you tend to knock those out. You won't neglect them and then you can move on to the other thing. So I do that same thing with hamstrings. I always train hamstrings first in my workouts. Y'all saw that on the leg day. If you didn't see that, you need to go check out the other videos, y'all. I'm taking y'all week by week on my training and on my physique, showing you guys that we can go from 26 weeks out all the way to show day and we can win a competition, man. You, guys, you just gotta have, have discipline, dedication, focus, and you gotta have that drive, man. So every day I wake up, I have the drive, I'm ready to kill it. I'm just trying to get better, y'all. And I'm trying to get that pro card next year. <laughs>
this machine right here for the real delts is what I wanted to talk to you about. It just feels so good. I'm, I'm locked into place and I'm focused on nothing but moving those elbows up, squeezing the back, squeezing the rear delts. It's actually getting more than just rear delt action. We're actually getting a lot of, um, I'm not shrugging up, so I'm not getting no trap action in there, but I am getting the rear delts in that upper back. So uh, a lot of good work here. And as you can see from the clips, the back is firing off, man. That's what we want. run the rack so what I'm gonna do a run the rack is with lateral raises I'm gonna start at about 10 or 15 and I'm just gonna keep increasing the weight doing sets of 10 so I'll probably go 10 15 20 20 I'm not really sure on which numbers I'm gonna hit but I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna come back down all right so that's what run the rack is man really good way to uh, exhaust the muscle fatigue the muscle and a really good way to build right so we'll do that that's the lateral work we'll do and then after that we're gonna go ahead and probably do some form of shoulder press which is either gonna be with the dumbbells or the machine I'm actually not sure yet I'm kind of moving on the fly uh, because that's just how I like to work you know I don't have a set plan that's written out or anything like that I like to move I like to go for the feel of the muscle man go for the feel of the day you know what I mean but I'm feeling good today man one little issue I had this morning is my scale is broke I'm not sure what's wrong with it guys but I have no idea what I weigh today and that is killing me all right but the physique is looking good I'm gonna go ahead and throughout this whole video just implement those uh, posing clips and not save it to the end because I know you guys are eager to see how the development is coming along how the progress is looking so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to uh, just in just implement that into the clips just show you guys what I'm looking like. All right, so let's keep working. out of the 50s so because we could push it to 10 we're gonna go ahead and now start climbing our way back down and i actually went every five all right so i'm about to go grab the 45s and we're gonna go 40 35 30 all the way down back to 15. let's get it deficit but I still want to make my muscles work all right you probably won't build any muscle in this phase as we're cutting down but we surely will hold on to the muscle that we have I mean we spent all these years building up the physique there's no way we're gonna let it wither away during this prep right so being in a caloric deficit does not mean 
train high reps or do just massive load of cardio and neglect the strength training. All right, we still wanna focus on pushing our muscles to fatigue. I can't stress that enough, man, push it to fatigue. Majority of your sets need to be forced. You need to push all the way to at least leaving no more than one in a tank. Maybe two in a tank, y'all. You gotta fatigue, you gotta go to failure. That's a true way to make sure your muscles are working. Set Bessie. So we're gonna move away from dumbbell work. Uh, I'm done with the dumbbells. I'm actually gonna do shoulder press on the machine, just hit that front. And we're also gonna do some plate raises to hit that front again, all right? So uh, putting in some good work. And this should wrap up the workout, y'all. I'm gonna finish up this superset. Um, and I'm gonna pose, and that's gonna be it, man. It's December 2nd, man. It's time for Christmas vibes only. So me and the family are going to go Christmas decoration shopping, Christmas trees and all that, man. Christmas parades. We're gonna have a good time today. Hey, straight to Saturday 6. All right, straight to Saturday 6. Hope y'all enjoying. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, share this video, comment down below. Let me know how you're liking uh, this prep because I'm low-key enjoying it, all right? It feels good to be right back into a, a routine, a rhythm, right? I mean, when you're training and you're just trying to build, you kind of lose focus of what's very, very important. And what's very, very important right now is that we stay extremely disciplined, stay extremely focused on our goals, man. We, we're going to make it happen, all right? <laughs> Putting God first is going to take us all the way, man. Make sure y'all praying every day. Make sure y'all pray. Wake up, pray. Before you go to bed, pray. Hey, keep God first, man. Things are happening how it's supposed to, so let's get it.